So here is your first pop quiz. Write down three synonyms for each word feliz and triste. They don't have to be 100% synonyms exactly, but at least words that convey a similar meaning, a near synonym. I'll give you a few seconds. If you can't write three, it's okay. Just think of as many as you can. All right. Instead of feliz, I could have written contenta, alegre, sonriente, etc. What others did you come up with? Maybe you wrote entusiasmada, dichosa, jubilosa, satisfecha. And instead of triste, I could have written decaída, decepcionada, deprimida. What else? Maybe pésimo, infeliz, miserable. So yeah, synonyms rock for expanding your vocabulary. Native speakers are pro at using synonyms and near synonyms to express details and shades of meaning. You just have to watch out for how intense the synonyms are and how frequently they're used. For example, uh, in English, we could say forlorn for sad, right? But forlorn is like a more intense sadness. It's really sad. Um, so if you were just wanting to go to the park and, oh no, it's raining, I guess we can't go, too bad. You know, you wouldn't say, I'm forlorn. That's like way too intense for that situation. So you have to pay attention to that in Spanish as well, the intensity of the word that you're using um, to make it, to use it appropriately in the context that you're trying to use it in. Um, and also you have to pay attention to the frequency. So like forlorn is kind of a more formal adjective that we wouldn't really use in daily life that much. So you have to pay attention to that in Spanish as well. Yes, the first step of how to boost your Spanish vocabulary is to increase it. And actually, as a beginner, that's essentially all that you're doing is increasing your vocabulary. You learn the basic emotional vocabulary, for example, enojado, triste, feliz, confundido, sorprendido, enamorado, etc. This is what you do as a beginner. You have to continue to do this later on in your Spanish studies, of course, but in a different way, which is what we're going to talk about today.